Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone? I haven't talked to you guys in quite a few days and I just wanted to get on here and A, say hi. Um, I hope you are enjoying my chill, relax, and create videos. Um, they have been very therapeutic for me personally. Um, it's actually, I, I'm just going to actually show you the dried result as well of all the last videos I did. Um, for me, it really wasn't about the end result. It was about the journey and just the experience of the pour. It was very therapeutic for me. Um, usually, I care a lot more about how it comes out. And I still do, but... Um, you know, it was more about like just the sensation of um, the poor. But anyway, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing and watching. And thank you all for watching my videos who watch them. It means a lot to me. Um, I know this is a difficult time for everyone. And I am personally just trying to do my part um, to kind of make videos that um, may help maybe relieve some stress. That's why I'm doing very quiet videos recently. But I just want to get on here and A, say hi. I missed you guys. I missed talking. <laughs> and um, excuse me, I have my allergies are going crazy. So if you hear me sniffling, that's what it is. But I just wanted to start off with I finally got to a Dollar Tree. Um, and I finally got to see my friend Sonia. Uh, hey Sonia, if you watch this, I haven't seen her in, I don't know, five, six weeks. Uh, we definitely did the social distance thing, even though, you know, you know, we're friends, but we still, we saw each other and we hung out for a few hours and look what I found at the Dollar Tree. So I was really surprised of how many nice, uh, items they have and these stickers I'm going to use for making more like paper craft stuff. Um, so I just want to show you these. I can't believe that this whole pack was a dollar. Look how nice these are. And I got these. These are so pretty. And I got these. I mean, I just can't believe these are a dollar. That's the name brand, Crafters Square. This particular Dollar Tree, I don't. I think they got some new stuff in here because I've been there many, many times and I've never seen these before. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention because I wasn't doing any paper-related crafts. I don't know. But I think I still would have seen these because I'm still in, like, the art craft section they have. So these are so nice. And I can't believe those were just a dollar each. That just freaked me out. And I guess you all call these a bling. These like little pearls. And so those was really nice. And I was able to finally give her her card in person. Um, yeah. Now that's that's the paper craft stuff. I just got a little Mod Podge here. Um, oh yeah. And they actually had like washi tape, which again is amazing for a dollar. Um, I got some more craft sticks. I was running out for my paint. Now these I actually bought for my resin art. I thought this would be really kind of cool to add to the edges of let's say coasters or something. I know these are very light and it may like float in the um, in the resin, but I just wanted to try it out. Um, yeah, so little ASMR. How about that? Anyway, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of that lately just for like, you know, relieving stress. And so, and these are like more kind of Easter spring colors. I just thought this would be interesting to use in resin and see what happens. And I thought these are really pretty. And it's by the same company, Crafter Square. So, yeah, I really like, I think that's really awesome to be able to sell these for a dollar. I mean, look at those. It's really nice, right? Now, these I got, because I'm going to do some pours over them. These are like little frames, and it kind of has a summer vibe. So, I'm going to take all this out and, you know, pour over that. And then I got one, of, I got a little, um, 
pineapple piece of wood. I'm gonna throw those away because I know those are garbage. And then I got another frame that is a pineapple shape. So I'm gonna do some pours in my next video with a little more of a summer vibe to them and see how that comes out. I am definitely gonna do more of the uh, Chillax Create videos. My next video I will probably I'll pour up these or at least two of them. I personally have been enjoying doing those videos. Just some really nice music. And yeah, just, you know, painting and uh, talking about what I'm doing and the products I'm using. Um, but for my birthday, which is coming up very shortly on the 29th, and I'm going to hit the big 5-0, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably order myself some deco art pouring acrylics. Those are pretty new. I know quite a few people have used them already. Um, I have not tried them yet, so I am dying to try them. So I'm going to see if I can order some of those. And they are in stock. So I'm hoping they're good because usually when something is really, really good, it's not in stock. So I'm going to see, you know, I'm not going to get big, big bottles. Um, I'm going to get, I want to try a few colors. So yeah, that will be coming up hopefully soon. So yeah, this guy, this was kind of hard. Oh, this is my first time doing this. Um, it came out okay. It was that it's very heavy bottle and this, the lip here is very very small so it was hard to deal with but I re-poured over it's okay you know it's not my favorite thing but I've seen so many people do really pretty ones I don't have any um, like gloss spray yet but I may buy some and then see how it come see how it looks after the fact but you know this is my first try but again this it was more about the the process of doing it and not really the end result it was just for me uh, very relaxing to make that and then this was the paint this was the canvas that I had put underneath it so this one came out pretty you know this was actually pretty nice kind of more springy Easter colors here but um, the reason why I had poured over this now this top layer here is the primal flow um, the original colors were Arteza, uh, the pouring acrylics, and I do like those paints, but they were very thin and they did not adhere to the glass well enough. They just were just a little too thin and that was not adding anything. It was just the type of paint. The Primal Flow is just a little bit better for this type of thing. Um, and it just adhered and, you know, the shapes and like all the textures kind of stayed. So yeah, that's what, that's why I had poured over it. So that was that. And this is this guy. This dried perfectly. Um, and this was a mixture of the Arteza and the Primal Flow. And that actually came out really, really beautiful. And I'm really, really happy with this. This is the Fire and Ice one. So I am very, very happy with uh, how that came out. I have a few cells going on here. Um, I think I add some Celtastic to this one. So yeah, that one came out really, really nice. That's actually my favorite out of the paintings that I did in this last series. And then I really like these two as well. This came out, um, dried a little darker, but I still love just the shape and the way that the, uh, I believe this was a ring pour. Uh, yeah, so I really like the way this came out, even though it did come out slightly darker, but that's because of probably a lot of the black in here. But I really love the way that came out as well, and I really enjoyed making this. So that's really the point I'm trying to make that I really enjoyed making it. Uh, even if it doesn't dry the, exactly the way I want, um, it, sometimes that's not, the end result is not, you know, the point. And then this guy here, this came out really, really pretty. And I'm actually very happy the way this dried and the way it came out as well. Yeah, so my friend Sonia and I also went to Home Depot, but we didn't go in because the line was so long. And uh, we just actually went there to look at the flowers and see if they were kind of in stock because it's still like in April. We were thinking May they would have flowers. So at the end of this video, I may add a little clip to uh, just some of the flowers that we saw 
you know, and that's it for today. You know, I just came in here to say hi, show you my little uh, Dollar Tree um, haul here that I'm really, really happy with. Um, I actually ordered some paper pads, more paper pads from um, uh, Amazon. And yeah, I'm going to see what I can make with those. I'm actually looking at a lot of you guys out there, your like tutorials. So I may try a tutorial from one of you guys who, who knows, maybe, you know, like a follow a tutorial um, and, you know, either do a little, uh, just a project share or whatever. And um, if I use your tutorial, I will definitely give you credit that it's your tutorial, you know, because I love doing that. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment what you guys are doing out there. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.